And hi everybody out there, Mark Mannering here again from Class Training. Just a slightly different and slightly longer uh, video tips this week. Uh, and by the way, we, I'm going to go fortnightly. It's just a lot of work, I'm sorry. So we'll, we'll go fortnightly now. But uh, with this one, uh, I gave a live presentation last week sometime at the Albury Northside Chamber of Commerce Business Before Hours. And I spoke about pitch, present, persuade and repeat. Just some ideas on how to plan and present your presentations, keynote addresses, speeches, whatever it might be in front of a group. And also some great ideas on how to use your slideshows better, in particular with PowerPoint. So no focusing on PowerPoint. There will be some ideas there for you. But anyway, have a look, have a think, and uh, talk to you at the end. Isn't it really annoying when people go overboard? <laughs> OK. <laughs> Uh, my first lecture at university, the guy came out with that um, with that uh, uh, Star Wars theme. Anyway, um, officially welcome everybody and uh, uh, Mark Mannering here. And uh, as you can see, um, we're going to be looking at um, the four key steps for successful presentations, pitch, pres uh, present, persuade and repeat. And oh, you, Kathy, we've got about two and a half hours, haven't we? You said, yeah. Okay. Um, four key steps. Now, people, I'm not going to uh, focus on just the so-called dreaded PowerPoint, okay? It's not gonna be some tips. There will be a couple of things on that, but um, it's just a tool. Things like PowerPoint are just tools, okay? And if you don't step back a bit and think, well, how am I gonna do all this? How will I do my talk or presentation or, or keynote address or whatever, then you're gonna do a really bad job with, with PowerPoint, okay? So um, that's the first thing to, to get out of the way. Um, just quickly, just put your hands up. Anybody, anybody who's thank you. Anybody who's um, given a, a talk or presentation, keynote address, chaired a meeting, given a speech, uh, you know, talked in front of a crowd. Just put your hands up if you've uh, done that before, please. I knew you're all going to do that. Okay. Now, just leave your hands up, please. Just leave your hands up if you've never been nervous or anxious or had some, you know, palpitations of the heart. I'll put my hand down as well. Oh, no, he's got his thing over. Okay, good. So, <laughs> he's been to a funeral. Okay. Um, so, all those things, uh, what we're going to talk about, very important. Now, one thing to get out of the way straight away, as far as the, the, the presentation now is, is don't try and remember everything that I'm going to uh, give you and talk to you about. Okay. Um, I've got some uh, handouts here, which will be handed out at the end of the uh, session or the end of the meeting. So, you don't get those now. So if you get those now, you'll start reading and I want to go home. Thanks, Mark. See you later. OK. And also, I've got this uh, fancy looking thing in here because I'm recording it as well, recording the slideshow and the, and the audio. So you'll get a link for that a little bit later on. So all you need to do is just sit back and relax and just uh, listen to the sort of big picture things. Don't worry about remembering the details, but try and remember at least uh, like the big picture, what you're going to go away, the three or four key things. OK. Um, people have, as I said, PowerPoint's got a very bad uh, reputation. Um, even people, uh, you know, they rely on it. They just barge in and they say, right, I've got to give this talk. I'll start my PowerPoint uh, program up. And away I go with a blank piece of paper. And, well, hang on. Well, what, you know, what do you think? Oh, no, it's going to do it for me, isn't it? And that's why we're getting these problems with uh, PowerPoint. OK. People even get up and say, um, well, I'm going to give a, um, going to give a PowerPoint now. And they think, well, they're going to pull out one of these things and uh, give you, you know, there, there, there's a power. Well, it's not even a PowerPoint. I got that wrong as well, you know. So uh, don't worry about that. All right. So people talk about um, death by PowerPoint. Put your hand up if you've never heard of that before. Death by PowerPoint. Okay. Well, it's not death by PowerPoint. It's death by PowerPoint user. Okay. So I'm the PowerPoint user, and I should know how to use it properly. You're the users. Okay. All right, so the four key steps, people, just a bit, bit of a heads up on uh, uh, planning my talk, keynote address or whatever. Forget about PowerPoint. Forget about the other tools you can use, and I'll mention those as well. Okay, uh, plan the thing. Okay, we'll talk about some details there. Uh, by the way, go backwards a bit because... Or by the way, learn how to sort of jump around any presentation you've got, okay? So these four things, pretty much you should all know. You've heard of these before. I'm just going to embellish some of them. So like I said, plan your talk, plan your presentation. What does that mean? I'll come back to it. The second thing, practice, rehearse. I started doing this about uh, this time last week. 
And then I looked at it two days later, then another day later on. And I actually practiced and rehearsed and stood in front of the computer and thought, well, I'm going to say this and say that and so on, just like any sort of um, thing you're going to do. Uh, a professional athlete would visualize being in the race. Okay, same sort of thing. So plan, practice, uh, then do the presentation, present to the group. Okay, and after that, I couldn't think of another sort of P word. It took me a while to think of the last P word here, pontificate on it. Okay, uh, or what? A, I, 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 I ran out the thesaurus. Okay, uh, ponder, pontificate just means review it afterwards. Once you've done the thing, how, how did I go? Whatever it might be. Okay, a bit more detail on those things. Okay, the timing, by the way. Now, by the way, one of the best books I've ever picked up on is, is this thing. It's called TED Talks. Who's heard of TED Talks before? TED doesn't, doesn't go and he doesn't go, he does. He goes and does a talk. TED for uh, um, Technology, Entertainment and Design. Okay, and they have um, uh, lots of good points in there. Nothing about PowerPoint, but about, again, about the sort of things I'm going to talk about. Okay, I've got stacks of books on this, but that's probably one of the best ones. When they talk about timing, they talk about uh, uh, the optimum 18 minute span of time. Okay, you're going to start to fall asleep, apparently, after about 18 minutes. Of, of anybody talking, okay? The studies have shown and university tests have shown. Okay, so after 18 minutes, that's it. You say bye-bye, see you later, hope you enjoyed it, okay? Or divide it up. If you've got a 40-minute thing, a 50-minute thing, divide it up into 18-minute chunks, apparently, okay? Um, the planning time, planning your presentation should be about seven times that around about. Whatever the talk is gonna be for, half an hour, an hour or a whole day, multiply, by, multiply that by seven. And that's the time you should take to actually plan the thing, let alone get on the PowerPoint and create your presentation uh, as a show, okay? So planning it with all these other things, uh, the other steps I'm talking about. No more than three key points all up. Now I said four, okay, the four, the plan, the, the practice, whatever. No more than about three key points. This is just some guidelines, okay? One key point every five minutes, well, three fives of about 18, <laughs> okay? And the last thing there, <laughs> the finish line is 0.9 times. What the heck does that mean? It means if my talk's gonna be about half an hour, I'm gonna aim for finishing and, on 27 minutes, 0.9 of that. So I'm not gonna run over time like I probably will today, okay? Because <laughs> I get too excited. <laughs> All right, so something about that, uh, uh, any questions as we go about what that means, that last bit? No, okay. So plan your timing. Uh, plan the structure of your talk, okay. Uh, the brain does not think of uh, in terms of priorities very well. What's the most important thing I should talk about this morning? I wouldn't have a clue, okay. I'll, I'll come back to that. I brainstorm, everybody brainstorms and we um, look at, uh, you know, what's the first thing that pops into your mind? Dot points, Dot points. very good. <laughs> Who said to call out? Hang on. <laughs> Dot points, bullet points, okay. Uh, so from the point of view of a structure, you've probably heard of these before as well, uh, you can talk about the introduction, then the body, then the conclusion. That's one approach. The other approach is um, let's look at the outside of the issue, helicopter view of the whole issue, a bit of big summary. Then we'll go inside to the details, inside, then we'll go outside again as a review. Okay. Another one is, um, uh, well, what? What are we here for? What am I going to talk about? Okay. Then, so what? <laughs> Okay, what implications has it got? And then the last thing, now what? Now what do we do? That's another uh, way to approach the structure of your talk or whatever it might be, okay? And a longer one is uh, your introduction, the context, the concepts, the implications, conclusions. So hopefully you can uh, use any of those to structure um, a, 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 unique, a unique, neat package. Think of it as a package, your particular talk, meeting, whatever it might be, okay? <laughs> Uh, plan the details. Now, what, who, response, and vehicle. Okay, so what am I going to talk about? Who are you? What response do I want from the group after I've given the talk? A lot of people don't think about that. What sort of follow-up? And what vehicle would I use for the thing? Do I need a PowerPoint or a, a slideshow? Do I need props, audio visual aids? Okay, so what's the main message, the content, the topic? Who, who are you? What sort of... Um, People am I talking to? Professionals, lay people. I had um, someone come in uh, last year sometime. They had to give a talk on the latest dog pound uh, regulations, microchipping and all that sort of thing. 
All right. So the content or the message was the latest dog pound regulations. But at two different times, they had to talk to a bunch of uh, councillors at council and then later on uh, to a bunch of primary school uh, students. Right. And I said, well, obviously, you're going to use uh, smaller words and, and lots of graphics and cartoons and all that for the uh, for the councillors. Yeah. <laughs> You, you stole my thunder. <laughs> You've read, read the script. <laughs> uh, and um, response, what, what, what do I want you to do after this? Okay, well, do a test, change a procedure, uh, go and buy the product or service off me, uh, uh, complete a questionnaire, might be a survey. Um, are there any questions? That all, that, that's what you might only need as a bit of a response to see if you've got some interactivity if they took on board. So a lot of people don't think about that what they want to do. They just go, thanks a lot, see you later, bye, I'll never see you again, right? So you need to follow up there. And the vehicle is, as I said, uh, what is it? Is it a lecture, meeting, workshop? What props do I need? Where will I be? Is it a dark auditorium or a small meeting room? Whatever it might be, okay? And one way I, I look at uh, the whole structure, and that's why I've got the bit of paper here, is um, you can't read that from the back, but a bit of a mind map of what I'm going to talk about. And that's a good record or a good um, sort of, uh, yeah, recording of a brainstorm, and that's it there, and I've got all other bits of paper of notes and whatever it might be. Okay, you can all see that, can't you, from down the back? All right, so that's not a bad idea, different colours and so on. Think about the first thing that just pops into my mind. Okay, well, I'll talk about, um, you know, planning. Okay, well, then someone else might talk about dot points. So I can just brainstorm that and make a mess. That's the idea, make a mess, then come back and prioritise it. Okay, you can see it now. Once you get into PowerPoint, you can see your plan in terms of a, uh, the, the list of things that I've got here. This is from PowerPoint now, Microsoft PowerPoint. So I can see my plan in terms of a PowerPoint uh, outline view, as they call it, or in terms of uh, thumbnail slide, um, uh, slides as well. Only from the point of view of stepping back and seeing the big picture and seeing if it flows and so on. Okay, now as far as the content of any slideshow you might actually show during your talk, here are some uh, suggested rules and things to keep in mind. Um, now a lot of people say you should know these rules and you should be aware of them so that you can break them. Break the rules so you can be a little bit different. Depends on the actual example and how you are as a presenter. So for example, uh, they say normally about one slide for every one to two minutes of your talk. So if it's a, if it's a 20 minute talk you're giving, well that's about uh, 10 to 15, 20 slides on average. Uh, the second point here is no more than five to seven points per slide. No more than five or seven dot points. Uh, any less, well, do you need that many uh, points on the slide or any more, can you break it up into more slides? So don't have too much on your slide, obviously. They reckon again about no more than two lines per dot point. And I'll show you an example in a minute about what not to do. So keep it succinct, keep it concise and a nice summary. And then finally, for this little bit, uh, to dot point or not to dot point. Now, in my opinion, I think dot points or bullet points are a good idea. It tells people, here's just a quick list, a quick summary of what I'm going to quickly talk about, and I'll embellish it during the talk, and away we go. So uh, I think it's, it's not a bad idea. But again, keep that in mind so you can break it for your own particular example. All right, practice. Uh, now rehearse, 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 as I said. Okay, so visualise what you're going to be saying in the, in the, in the presentation or talk, whatever it might be. Uh, you know, predict that people might just yell out and be flexible on that. <laughs> okay, uh, visualise the being in there, as I said. Um, anticipate any questions, any problems. I always stick to a plan. I stick to my plan so people can say, yep, there was a plan there, but I'm flexible as well. You might sidetrack. The group wants to do something else. Oh, okay. You're here to learn what you need to learn. So let's sidetrack and, and look at that side of it. Okay. Do a dress rehearsal. Like I said, I stood in front of the uh, laptop and pretended I was there and, and so on. I, I, I could visualise all you people sitting there, um, uh, not naked. Uh, you know, as they say, oh, I'll get rid of your anxiety by, uh, you know, picturing everybody naked sitting in the room. Well, that's it's not a pretty sight. So anyway, and do it again. Thanks very much. Do it again. Do what again? All those other things. Okay. Okay. Now, when we get to the actual structure of your uh, slides again and about the text and the dot points, here's an example of what you shouldn't do. It's always good to see an example. So if I just bring this up, okay, there you go. Too much information. Again, depends on the particular example and what you're trying to get across in your audience again. But in my opinion, for the one slide, this is too much information. 
people can't help themselves. They'll just read the information. You're trying to talk about the first point here about our financial and marketing situation and you're carrying on and reading it and they can't help themselves. They'll just read on, you've lost your audience, you can't build the concept, you can't build the flow of what you're trying to get across with this particular uh, slide. So in my opinion, this is not the right thing to do. An alternative with these five points I want to get across is to build it up slowly. So here's the alternative. Let's talk about our financial and marketing position. So we rave on, well, it's a 20% increase on last year and so on and so forth. And when you're ready, you bring up the next point by hitting the mouse or clicking whatever it is you've got, remote control. So there's the next point. I can talk about the number of new clients when I'm ready and I'm building up the, uh, the, the, the point or the, the concept for this slide. Notice how the previous one goes blue. This takes about two or three clicks at the most to set this up. And we go to the next one, let's talk about the position in the current marketplace. So it's a better way, bring up the next point, it's a better way to get your point across and you can focus on the last one there, that's uh, still black uh, and people know what we're talking about. Okay, there's another point, let's talk about one year from now and how we can, how we can improve and so on. All that information you saw before is not good to show on your slide, um, again, depending on the example, but you can hand those out, you can hand out that information. Now I like this because when it all goes blue, um, it's ready to go, it's finished with these points and I can now move on and uh, I think this is the way to go. But again, keep all these rules and suggestions in mind so that you can break them uh, depending on yourself and the presentation itself. Now when you get to present, right, let's look at you as the presenter. Let's actually do the presentation. Okay, be yourself. Anybody who was here for Hannah's, sorry Hannah, <laughs> Hannah Nichols' little presentation a few weeks back on video logging, brilliant, I thought that was fantastic. Hannah was herself, uh, cute, cuddly, uh, <laughs> am I allowed to say that? And everybody just thought, you know, a couple of things went wrong with the technology, whatever, it doesn't matter. But Hannah was there and all I remember was Hannah and video logging. Okay, that's the main message I got out of that, so uh, be yourself. Okay, communicate and identify with the audience. Okay, what did I say at the start? I said officially welcome. Okay, which means, okay, that's the point we're starting. Some people say, have we started yet? Or is he raving on or what? Okay, I said, don't worry about writing things down, even though someone is, this is good. Okay, you learn better by writing things down. But most of you, I said, I've got the handouts here. You'll get that at the end. Okay, and you'll get a video recording as much as I can do. So you don't have to worry about Hopefully you're thinking this is good stuff, but I don't need to write it down. I'm not going to remember everything. So that's why I said that's what you'll get afterwards. Okay, so communicate that so the expectations are there. Okay, move around. So don't sort of go berserk and, you know, if I just stand in one spot, you're going to be you know, all over the place so and I'll have a heart attack. Be flexible, as I said. Don't be a comedian, Carrick. <laughs> okay, don't be a, a stand-up comedian. Okay, but, you know, you can be yourself, as I said. You know, sit down and do it. <laughs> okay. Um, the props talked about, are they needed? Is it just me? No, I, I, I'm not really good to look at. Okay. Nearly every time uh, I give a, a whatever, I use, I use the, the slideshow. Okay. Because it's an enhancement. It's not a replacement. I'm a bit boring to look at. And people have different ways of learning, different ways of uh, understanding. I want to see something. I want to hear something. No, I want to read it. I want to see a video. So you take all that into account. Okay, if you're going to use the props, learn how to use it properly. Um, uh, Clayton was asking me about some other things that you can use. Microsoft PowerPoint is obviously ubiquitous and annoying, but there's also Keynote, there's Google Slides, Prezi's really good. Prezi are non-linear. You can go anywhere whenever you like, okay? Uh, whereas the others are more, you know, you start at the beginning and you finish at the end. <laughs> it makes sense, doesn't it? Some people don't do that. So have a look at some of those other things. They all work pretty much the same. Oh, Prezi's a bit different. A bit different. You've all heard of the KISS uh, principle. Um, not the rock band, but, you know, <laughs> keep it simple, silly and stupid. Right, keep it simple. Use graphics and special effects or subtle effects. I'll just show you quickly a couple of things in a minute. Save the file as a show. Now, you'll see some people do this. They'll say, right, I'm going to start my show now and I'll uh, start my PowerPoint. And uh, welcome, everybody. And uh, oh, hang on. Um, just now, how do I start the thing again? It's up here. Now, it's under view. Uh, no. Oh, look, Mark, where are you? Or Carrick? You know, it's no good. Okay. So I've just called it normal. Okay. What you want to do when you're ready, right, I've got the show version underneath there. I just go, right, we'll start up. And we go into it and bang, straight away. 
learn how to jump to a particular slide like that. Okay, so I can jump to uh, the slide I want to get to, and there it is there. Okay, so starting up with the show, uh, go backwards. Okay, and there we go, down to here. Save it as a show, all right? Use the subtle effects. Now, if you want to do graphics and people like images and so on, okay, it's, you know, draw it up. Draw it up, director, manager, bit of an organisation chart, obviously, okay? But that's not effective. You've seen the thing come up straight away. I'm going to talk about our uh, structure here in the organisation. You've already read on. Okay, Mark, move on. I've already seen it. It's very easy. It takes two clicks. When I'm ready, I can say, right, we've got the director. Your James is a great bloke. And then he needs a couple of managers underneath him and an assistant. Okay, so when I'm ready, they can come up. The next one will come up right now. Okay, I'm manually advancing it. Okay, so think about those sort of things. If you want to use graphs, Obviously, everybody knows should have a graph, you know, to show our sales. No good though. I've already read the whole thing. Very easy to animate the thing, and say, right, well, our first um, sale was this, and July was okay, but August we went up, and uh, and when I'm ready, okay, in December, guys, crikey, you know, well done, gee, well done for that one. Very easy. Doesn't take all day. You're not. You don't have to work at Pixar animation to learn how to do all this. Okay, we'll talk more about that. <laughs> Isn't it funny? Uh, that was good. Remember how I said I'll pick you out of the audience and just at the right time bring it spot on. Okay, good. Uh, pontificate. What's that mean? Well, review. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, the footy panel and all the rest of it. Okay, reflect, review. How did it go? You know, oh, they laughed a few times. Okay, that's the main thing. Was it effective? Not efficient. We, I have to be efficient now because uh, of the timing. But is it effective, getting the points across? Have I been sensitive to your needs, Alice? Okay, what a stupid bloody question. You know, didn't you listen to what I said before? That's not being sensitive, okay? Uh, any feedback? I mean, you know, they will follow up and hopefully people can say, oh, yeah, that was good, but I wanted to learn more about this. So uh, we haven't got a questionnaire or anything, but obviously, you know, you'd have some sort of a feedback thing. And the timing, did I go overboard? Or did I not? Okay, did it, whatever. I always, every time I go over this, over the, uh, the reviewing or pontificating, you know, I've done something wrong, okay? Or I could have done something better, all right? You'll, you'll, and you'll always do that. It won't be perfect, okay? All right, we're getting to the summary, the key points here. Plan, prepare, th remember the three key points? I'll go back a bit. Three key points about uh, today, this morning, okay? Well, I'm cheating, though, because there's about, you know, three or four in that one, <laughs> okay? Plan, prepare, practice. Okay, focus on the topic. Okay, what am I going to say? But more importantly, the audience. I could just walk in here and say, well, I don't care who's there. I could be talking to a blank wall. I just want to, I just want to you know, uh, impress everybody with my great PowerPoint skills. And that's all they think. And people go out, they leave, and they say, gee, that was really, wasn't that whiz bang? And oh, crikey, the special effects. What was he talking about, though? Wouldn't have a clue. So focus on the topic and the audience. Okay, be empathic and all those other cliches you've heard of before. Okay, be confident, passionate, and different. So is that, is that one key point or about three or four? Okay, uh, different means don't be like all the others. Be yourself, you know, be uh, flexible as I said. Okay, how can I really make this a little bit more whiz-bang than what it is? All right, so the summary there. Okay, don't forget all this is in your handouts. You'll need to review it and pontificate yourself. Okay, good. Now, finally, people, there's just a quick, just a quick video here, about 30 seconds, 40 seconds, um, all about the brain, just to help you sort of understand a little bit more about uh, how the brain works, uh, cognitive processes, uh, how people think, so you can get into their heads and be a bit more effective with the point you're trying to get across. So it's only about 30 or 40 seconds, this, but it's all about the brain. Just have a watch. Well, the, uh, the carts and the tempertonis murk the glue poses and overclock the murder chooses. There's to be discursible and part of Isaacruz together, team mood, celebrity, and appetity, so forth, frame shows, data vision, and auditory slow perfection. Resulting frictation induces corresponding blip mortalizers, but uh, that all comes under Croner's electropurinary self-defecation, which you will underlies in our professor course. Now, resultory frictation and multicentric compulators superless the alleviating duds of meadery lubble dutch, making com tastes and together teeth slip temperance <laughs> and And now for something completely different. 
everybody um, understand what he was saying? It was all it was all dribble. It didn't come out very loud, but it was all dribble. Was it? There was no. He was making the words up as he goes. So, I mean, you'll remember that, won't you? It was all dribble. Okay. Questions? Any questions? Okay. Oh, I must have got. No, everything's fully understandable. Okay. Good. All right, people. Thank you very much. That's the end of my little talking. And there you go, people. I hope you enjoyed some of that and got some ideas and tips, especially on how to plan your presentations uh, more so rather than just jumping into a PowerPoint and using that. Uh, we cover a lot more, as you know, in our PowerPoint course. So have a look for that and where we cover a lot of this sort of planning stuff as well. Um, Mark Mannering signing off. We'll see you again next time. Thanks a lot. Bye.